Hi, seventh grade. Welcome to lesson 2-5, Graph Proportional Relationships. By the end of the lesson, I want you to be able to say, I can use a graph to determine whether two quantities are proportional. Let's explore it. The graph shows the time it takes JC to print t-shirts for school's math club. Use the points on the graph to complete the table. Are the quantities proportional? Explain. So we look here, the first point is at 1-5. So the x value is 1, the y value is 5, then we have 2, 10, 3, 15, and 4, 20. I want you guys to figure out if those are proportional and explain. Then go to figure out part B and C. Okay, so let's see. To see if they're proportional, remember we do y divided by x. 5 divided by 1 equals 5. This is the k value. 10 divided by 2 is 5. 15 divided by 3 is 5. 4 divided by 20. I'm sorry, 20 divided by 4 is 5. So yes, they are proportional because they have the same k value. Starting at 1, 5, as you move from one point to the next on the graph, how does the x-coordinate x change? How does the y-coordinate change? Well, if we look, the x adds 1 each time. And the y adds 5. <clears throat> Write the points for 0 t-shirts and for 5 t-shirts as ordered pairs. Well, if there are zero t-shirts, it takes zero minutes. If there are five t-shirts, we'll follow the pattern. It would take 25 minutes. Graph the points and draw the line that passes through all six points. So there's that point, there's this point, and boom, there's my line. Suppose that after printing four t-shirts, it takes JC four minutes to change the ink cartridge. Would this point for five t-shirts lie on the line you drew in point C? Explain. No, because five t-shirts would then take, instead of 25, 25 minutes, we would have to add four for the changing the ink cartridge. So it would be 529, which if we wanted to graph it, oops. If we wanted to graph it, 529 would be up here, which is not on our blue line. Example 1. Graph to recognize a proportional relationship. Tanya exercised for 30 minutes. She noted the calories burned at three times during her workout. How could Tanya use this information to find how many calories she burned after 15 minutes? Well, we could plot the points. 10, 95... 2190, 30, and we could use the graph to find the constant of proportionality. So the constant of proportionality is 95 over 10 or 9.5. They get that from seeing how much they go over and how much they go up between each point. So if we start at this point, between those two points, it goes to the right 10 and up 95. So remember y divided by x, y is how much you go up and down, so that's 95, and 10 is how much you go left to right, so that's 10. So then if we use the equation y equals kx, and we just found that our k is 9.5, we do y equals 9.5x, and we want to see how many calories she burns in 15 minutes. So instead of x, we put 15, because minutes is on the x-axis. If we do 9.5 times 15, we get 142.5. Let's try it. Each fourth cup of serving of cereal has 3 grams of protein. How can you use the graph at the right to determine whether the quantities are proportional and to find how many grams of protein are in one cup? Well, if we go at one-fourth, that's three grams of protein. One-half would be three grams more. Three-fourths is three grams more. 
and 1 would be 3 more grams. So that's 10, 11, 12. It'd be like somewhere up here. So in one cup, there are 12 grams. And we can tell that this is a proportional graph. All the graphs that we've seen today have something in common. They all start at 0 and are straight. So those are the two things when you're looking at a graph. They must start at 0 and they have to be straight. Convince me, how can you find the constant of proportionality from the coordinates of one point on the graph? All we have to do, the constant of proportionality, is at 1. Remember that unit rate? So if you just want to look at one point, you could look at the x value of 1. Remember, it all relates back to that unit rate. So the constant of proportionality here is 12. Example number 2. The graph shows a proportional relationship, so it's telling us it is proportional, and hey look, starts at 0 and is straight, between the distance and the amount of time Mr. Brown drives. What does each of these points represent in the situation? 0, 0. Well, we have to read the labels. We've got time and distance. So 0, 0. Mr. Brown drives 0 miles in 0 hours. 155, he drives 55 miles in 1 hour. This is also his unit rate. 5275, Mr. Brown drives 275 miles in 5 hours. Constant of proportionality is always at the point where x equals 1. Our unit rate, we talked about that. So the k here is 55. What equation relates the distance, y, and the time x? Remember I said whenever they ask for an equation, they're looking for that y equals kx, and they're looking for you to fill in for k, whatever the unit rate is. Suppose the graph of Mr. Brown's road trip is extended. Find the ordered pair with the x-coordinate of 7. What does this point represent in the situation? Well, we already know the equation is y equals 55x, so now our x value is 7. So we're going to do y equals... 55 times 7, get out my handy dandy calculator, 55 times 7 is 385. So if the graph is extended, it will pass through the point 7, 385. This means Mr. Brown drives 385 miles in 7 hours. They always want you to be able to interpret the graph, really read it and not just know the numbers, know what we're finding. Explain why each graph does or does not show a proportional relationship. So this first one is proportional because it is a straight line and it goes through the origin. The second one is not proportional. Even though it is a straight line, it does not go through the origin. Remember, the origin is the point zero, zero. The third one is not proportional. It does go through the origin, but it is not straight. Draw two graphs that pass through the point 2, 3, one that represents a proportional relationship and one that does not. Label your graphs as proportional or not proportional. So we know it has to go through the point 2, 3, both of them. Okay, so that's what your graph should start with. When should you pause the video, draw your own graphs, and then press play to check back. Okay, the first one I'm going to do is proportional. So I know it's got to be straight, and I know it's got to go through that point 0, 0. So I'm going to draw a straight line. The next one is not proportional. So it either can be a curvy line, or it could not go through the origin, or it could do both. So you could do something like that. That is not proportional. Okay, on the next page, key concept. The graph of a proportional relationship is a straight line through the origin, so it must have both of those things. This graph shows that the total cost of tickets at a county fair is proportional to the number of tickets purchased. For each point y, x, x and y on the line, except for 0, 0, it equals 5, which is the constant of proportionality. If we look even at the unit at 1, it goes to 5, so that's our unit rate. Alright, 7th grade, let's say it. I can 
Use a graph to determine whether two quantities are proportional. Have a great day.